because they're all good kids until dried out brain dead skags like you drag them down and convince them they're no good yeah he liking so that just scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school and i hear about it i'm coming looking for you take this quarter go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face <laughs> good day to you madam Biat. i'm so proud of myself today i'm so proud of myself you know what Buck. I don't know what we about to get ourselves into, but we about to get ourselves into it, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, give me the HBO special today. We jumping straight into it. I've been jumping straight into these last one. Ain't been rambling, making no crazy jokes in the beginning. We've been jumping straight into it. Anybody with kids, you know what I'm talking about. Um. Besides the point, let's get in Uncle Buck. <laughs> what you got, Uncle Buck? I don't give a buck. I don't give a buck what you're talking about. Buck you. So that's cool. I'm going to start using that. Because that's kind of like I could replace the, the, the F with B and stay buck. I wonder if this is going to get past the YouTube standards. Buck. Buck. YouTube is buck okay? Buck. And you know, it's still, it got a ring to it. Like, Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Fuck off, man. Fuck an idiot. Bucking. All right, we're getting into it. Let's get in the bucket movie, y'all. Let's watch the bucket movie. I'm going to shut the buck up. My bad. I'm going to shut the buck up, y'all. Macaulay Culkin? That's my man. This is the first time I've seen him in a different movie other than Home Alone. Wow. Just don't give me any crap, Maisie. I'm telling. You said crap. There's nothing wrong with crap. Oh, really? I thought that was a swear. No, crap is the good shit. part. Oh, right. oh, yeah, that's the bad one. <laughs> they weren't making enough cash in Indianapolis. Forget that we were perfectly happy. So thank them for getting treated like shit every day. I'm telling on that one. Shut your face. Jeez. I'm gonna have to censor you for YouTube, lady. Your book bag doesn't go on the floor. Oh, let's have a cow. <laughs> <laughs> your nails are digging to my arm, god damn Pick it. Pick it up. Hey, uh, going on in this house with these kids? Parsi! <laughs> Parsi chilling in the dryer. This is a, this, it's dysfunctional here without the parents. Okay, the parents are back. This is such a wonderful dinner, mother. How do you find the time? Miles, did you win at hockey yesterday? I could have been over for two weeks. Damn, the parents don't even know what's going on at the house. I guess you don't want a hockey stick for your birthday. Mm, you know what? When Dad goes to New York, I'm going to take a week off work. So you can interview new housekeepers? I've had enough of your ugliness. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. We're all just a little tired of the act. It was a little mama and daughter got heated up in there. Somebody's gonna be on punishment. I, I like knowing I can throw my sticks in the trunk of my car and go golfing anytime I want. I don't hurt anybody. I don't I don't see what the problem is. That is the best formula for loneliness I ever heard. Why are we arguing? We're talking. I said I'd be at work in the morning, I'll be there. Okay. Buck, don't sound too promising. Oh, that smile definitely don't look promising. Hello. Oh God. What? It's your aunt. What happened? Your dad had a heart attack. <sighs> what about the uh, Nevels? Would you call them? I want to leave as soon as we can. Of course, this isn't going to come down to Uncle Buck watching the kids, obviously. This is just a thought. What about Buck? Now, I'm sure he'd be glad to help out. <laughs> this is not the time to discuss your brother. I don't want him here. It's just a suggestion. He doesn't have kids. He isn't married. He, he doesn't even work. He got a job. He started. The trashy people he hangs out with, the that woman who sells tires, the uh, horse racing, the gambling. Can you see him in this house? Yeah, with those kids, yeah, I can. <laughs> are we going to Indianapolis? Daddy and I are. And we're not? No, honey. No, I, I don't think that would be a good idea. Thanks. 
leaving us again. So why did you move away from him? If my whole family moved away from me, I'd have a heart attack too. Key says... Mom, she's trying to show you signs. She needs some affection. Love. Time. You get in bed. You have to get up for school. Who's in Florida? Just get back in bed. We'll see the word for ball. Get Nuts sack, little man. Nuts. Oh, <laughs> I love Macaulay. I don't think we have much choice. Buck it in. Can we trust him? Yeah. Buck, this is Bob. Bob. Bob who? Buck, it's your brother. <laughs> Bobby! <coughs> I think Buck got work in the morning. He ain't even started his first day yet. This girl gonna be pissed. This could be an excuse. Bobby. What the? Yeah, just use your Christmas present. Ah, uh, the clapper. Bobby, you little piss ant. How you doing? Huh? Jeez. What are you, drunk? <laughs> we gotta get together. Hey, they bring their uh, sleeping bags over here. We'll have some fun. We'll make tents and stuff. Uh, we'll get some toys and stuff. Buck said, let's do it. I thought you could come here. Do we want to do this tonight or in the morning? Tonight would be best. I mean, if you could do it. Yeah, tonight will be fine. That'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'll, uh, I'll pack a few things. I'm on my way. Buck, you got work in the morning. Buck. Oh, crap. He can do it. And this hour, he was uh, asleep and I woke him up. <laughs> and this hour, uh, that's a good sign. We're all set. <laughs> Looking like, uh oh, that was too easy. Bucks a hoarder. Oh. Just let get. No, but you don't. Would you just let me? Give me. Let me get the. <laughs> give me a. Oh. Goodbye. She cut it to him. I wonder what she said. She probably said, You're not getting no more coochie. You cut off. The two new ones. They're uh, Larry and. Uh, Larry and. He's trying to, he don't even know the kid's name. Betsy. Larry and Betsy, that's it. Buck at the wrong house. Bob, come on. Wake up. I'm freezing my ass off out here. He got the neighbors. Come on, I'm getting mad, Bob. Yo, Bobby. Buck. Buck. Bob. Buck. Bob. Buck. Bob. Over here. <laughs> Have any idea how many big white houses there are on this street? Shh. What? Keep it down. What? What do you want me to do with my car? Oh, crap. He done woke the neighbors up. Sorry, Mr. Hatfield. It's 2 a.m. What are you doing? Hey, Buck's in the house. It's Buck's in the house. Cigarettes, then I go to cigars, then I go to pipes, then I go to chewing tobacco, then I'm on to that nicotine gum. What about marijuana? I <laughs> skipped that, babe. <laughs> uh, money. I'll leave you blank checks. Oh, no, no, please. I I've got lots of money. No. No, please. No. Look, I got the money, please. I'd, I'd like to do this, sir. Buck. It don't look like you got a buck, man. I, I won't have any problem cashing a, a, a second party out of state paycheck, will I? The reason I'm saying is I've been so busy lately, I haven't been able to do my bank. I don't think there'll be a problem. Don't worry Let about it. Let me just leave you. We leave, yeah, we leave you some money, Buck. We leave you a couple bucks, Buck. Do you have a plunger here while I'm thinking of these things uh, for the morning? You know, my plumbing is just so bad. Well, of course, yours is a good plumbing here, right? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, just don't worry about it. You know, everything will be fine. Been eating a lot of cheese for some reason. I don't know what it is. I got a craving for this stuff. I think maybe that's an allergy or something. I don't know. I can't get enough cheese. I feel like a big mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, oh, well. Big crap in the morning. <sighs> nice place, huh, Buck? <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Buck! <laughs> Unbreak my heart. <laughs> Say you love me again. Tweet it, tweet it, tweet it. Give it up, give it up, give your love to me. Tweet it, tweet it, tweet it. Uncle Buck down there whipping it up. Tweet it, tweet it, tweet it. Yeah, you remember me, Uncle Buck, the Uncle Buck. Tia, you drinking coffee? Really? Coffee drinker, huh? Hungry? No. Oh, come on. Sure you are. Everybody loves breakfast. Yeah, coffee. Breakfast. Horrible. <laughs> she just doing stuff. <laughs> it's black coffee, too. 
Other ones what? The, uh, the other kids. They have names. Miles and Maisie. Are Miles and Maisie up yet? I woke them, thank you. Tia, why are you being a... Jeez. Is there any particular reason why you're giving me such a hard time? Yeah. Jeez. Am I giving you a hard time? Yes, you are. Oh, well, I don't know. Hey, how you doing? Who are you? I'm your Uncle Buck. Do I have an uncle? Unfortunately. Holy smokes. He's cooking our garbage. He's cooking our carpet. <laughs> he turned into this to gourmet. Ow! You want knots in your hair? Ow! Cut it out. I want Mom to do it. Mom's not here. She is too. No, she's not. She and Dad went to Indianapolis. They did not. Macy, they left while you were asleep. Where do you live? In the city. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. Hey, who's grilling who here? You have much more hair than you know, so my dad. Well, nice of you to notice. I'm a kid. That's my job. <laughs> he noticed too much. He's too good. He could be a great lawyer or investigator. <laughs> he asked good questions. Where'd you find the weed? <laughs> Buck smoking up the whole place. Buck. Tying your shoe? <laughs> Tying your shoe? No. <laughs> I'm trying to stay alive in here, bro. <laughs> Did you ever have anyone embarrass you like this? No. Fuck. <laughs> 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 well, just don't get why Tia giving him a hard time. I don't get it either. She's just. You think she hates me? With yeah. the passion. Why? Really? You think it's the hat? No. No? A lot of people hate this hat. It angers a lot of people, just the sight of it. I'll tell you a story about that on the way to school. <laughs> I don't think it's the hat, Buck. <laughs> During that week, you, you have to see somebody in there that's going to fill the bill. Hire them. You know, part-time basis or whatever. Uh, I, 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 you know, we'll see where we are at that point. Okay, well, I have to go now. Bye-bye, hun. Buck ain't picking up on nothing. That bother me. Give me a week. Buck living the life, boy, I tell you. Cross the plate and sleep. <laughs> Would you like to talk about a possible lunch tree? The hell back in his lunch. Oh man. She folded him out the picture. That's that's cold blooded. That's probably why the kids don't know who he is. And they completely erased the memory of Uncle Buck. Golly. What? Just do it. <laughs> Uncle Buck don't give a crap. Longer to get from A to B. You ever hear of a tuna? <laughs> or chains or something. You ever hear of a ritual killing? <laughs> I don't get it. You know on her face in public like that again and you'll be one. <laughs> Are you crazy? I can be. You could have taken his head off. Yeah, but what do you notice? <laughs> the guy's a predator and you're his prey. Oh, really? You bet. And how do you know? When I was his age, I was the guy zooming the girls like you. Pretty face, chip on your shoulder. I recommend that you stay out of my personal life. Do your parents stay out of your personal life? Yes. Have they met Twiddledink? His name is Bug. <laughs> First or last? First. What's his last name? Spray? <laughs> ding -a -ling. You should talk, Buck. Yeah, Buck ain't, it ain't too good. Buck is, a, buck is all right. That's money. Oh, dear. <laughs> or a, a buck shot like his car do. His car give off buck shots. <laughs> Don't you have a favorite doll or something? What if we get one of your dolls and put your dad's pajamas on him? No. What does she want Buck to do? Your brother. What about your brother? How about the dog? You know the dog. You got to do it, Buck. It's a new law. That's it. It's in the books. You don't want to sleep with me. Oh, she wants to sleep with Buck. Did you uh, brush your teeth? Yeah, I could even fill my toothbrush. You know, I have a friend who works at the crime lab at the police station. I could give him your toothbrush and he could run a test on it to see if you actually brushed your teeth or just ran your toothbrush under the faucet. I used to do that. That is so crazy. That is crazy. I thought I was the only one who did that. If that's true, we're going to really have to start brushing our teeth. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay. Maybe like, damn, we caught. How many times a day do you feed a dog like that? How, how many times a day do you think he eats? Four or five. Jesus! I should have told you that. He eats once. He eats once a day. Twice at least. What, what does he like to drink? Uh, water? Yes, yes, he drinks water. I would keep some water out. I've been leaving the, the toilet seats up. It's water. 
Is that what the blue water is? It's not good for him, huh? Uh, oh, fuck! That, that might account for something. Nothing. Just uh, <clears throat> an odd coloration out on the grass. I, I just want you to know it makes me feel very secure to know that you're there. <laughs> Mama just lied her ass off. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Her baby's in trouble. Bob? Bob? <laughs> hey, Bob, honey. I don't know about Buck. <laughs> he got the dog drinking blue <laughs> toilet water. Dog gonna be dead by the <laughs> by time we get back home. Bob, hurry up. Dad, get better. Clear. <laughs> Clear. I gotta get back home. <laughs> Uh. Tell him that his lonesome nights are bum, bum, bum. Don't have nobody to bum, 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 bum. <sighs> Cindy? Who is this? I don't like her coat. She's dangerous. She killed an animal. Damn, she got alligator. She got all animal skin and fox and everything gone. She done killed the whole safari. We'll make her outfit. Come on. What do I have to talk dirty to you? Come on, open up for daddy. Shovel loading. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Come on, it's nice and easy. <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> open up. Come on. I'm going to shove my load into you whether you like it or not. What? Fuck. Oh, my God. Dog just lick. Freeze. What? Who are you? Cindy. She's in Indianapolis. I'm her brother-in-law. Oh yeah, who you talking dirty to? <laughs> the washer, ma'am. <laughs> I, I don't know how to work it, so I was kicking it and swearing at it. You know, which is not an uncommon thing to do. Yeah, that's uh, pretty uncommon. <laughs> I apologize. Shove your load into something. You don't say that a lot uh, into washing machines. I live across the street. My name is Marcy. Buck Russell. Marcy Dahlgren Frost. <laughs> and I get compliments on the hyphen. I sure you would, sure you would. I, I bet, yeah. Well, I came to invite Cindy to lunch, but since she's not here, do you have plans? Well, actually, I, I got a lot of things to do around here. Rain check? I'm only going to be here a couple days. Cindy said it would only be a couple of days? Well, she didn't specify. I just assume, you know. This lady got a Marlboro two rolling down the street where it fell off her pearl necklace. I'm pretty sure she got one of them. Waiting for your sex? Shut up. Tia? <laughs> Tia? What'd you blow all that makeup for? We're just going bowling. I'm not going bowling. Come on, it's a great sport and it's virtually impossible to get pregnant while doing it. You're disgusting. I'll die before I go anywhere with you. Tia! It's gonna be fun. They have rent issues. And rent a foot disease. We've done the Battle of the Wills. We'll shave your head while you sleep. See you in the car. Oh. Shots fired, Tia. Shots fired. Now come bowling. <laughs> she think he'll do it too. Like this Uncle Buck's a nut, so he might do it. I'll go bowling instead of going to have a sex. Sex sounded better, but I guess I'll go bowling. I love bowling, guys. I'm actually a pretty great bowler. I should make a video of me bowling. Oh my God. You too old, buddy. Oh. That's why you cut your lip. You, you just idiot. <laughs> How you doing? I've never seen you here before. I know about everybody. That's why they call me pal. You must be a college student, right? Cheerleader, probably. You look firm. Oh, my God. Pal's a pervert. You would be champion of the world. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buck. The pervert over there in Tia's ear. He already pre-primed. He looked like he got his ass kicked already. Just give him another one real quick. Hey, buddy. You got a game going somewhere, pal? Yeah, well, you're not going to get any strikes sitting there, are you? Move it. Go on. Get out. He ran quick. Come on. They ain't going to bite. What's up, Raj? Hey, you got to let somebody know where you are. I've been checking card trunks for your corpse. Yeah, I want to let her have it for not marrying you. You know, if she came, she didn't marry uh Oh, Tia looking like, oh, he has a wife. I didn't know this. Oh, why don't we, uh, why don't we step in my office then? Uh, excuse us. <laughs> I'll remember it always. He done gave her the, <laughs> the cold. Oh, uh, with Tia got up her sleeve. Hey, watch the fingers. What's a Shanice? That's 
The subject has come up, yes, but uh, nothing serious. Maybe if you got married, you'd stop being such an asshole. Hey! There's nothing to do with you, little girl. Cigar? No, thanks. Let me know if you change your mind. I will. They're nice and juicy for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make a one large pancake. Look pretty good. Happy birthday! Made a few big pancakes. Jesus! I hope you're hungry. Oh my God! You should see that toast. I couldn't even get it through the door. <laughs> oh, the butter on the day. That's a lot of carbs. Don't get me wrong, but it looks delicious. Miles' mom hired a clown. Ooh. Damn, they didn't even make it back for his birthday. The parents. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> The clown drunk. This ain't gonna be good. I was at this all night bachelorette party. You need any dildo jokes? <laughs> I'm the guy. Yeah, there's kids here. We don't need dildo jokes. <laughs> what, did you, what did you have? A few drinks this morning? Huh? I, I think you did, didn't you? You never touch this stuff? I don't have to take any shit from you. You know who I am? You're a clown. Hey, you. <laughs> let me tell you something. Low life lion, four flushing sack of shit. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Oh. Now, nobody do know. <laughs> In your mouth and get the hell out of here. Go get some cheese or something. We ain't with them games. Buck not having it. Let's go to the car, huh? Oh, no. Why? Not now. She not ready. She not ready. I just don't feel right yet. And that's all you needed to hear. Back off. Like, after you hear that, if you don't back off at that moment, it becomes R-A-P-E. I'm okay. Sure. Trust me. Tia, no. Shit. Buck in the building. He scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Damn car sending off warning shots. Well, well, well. They certainly are scraping the bottom of the barrel for cheerleaders these days. <laughs> we were just driving by, going out for some ice cream. Thought you might like to join us. I said I would be home at 10. It's not even 9. Who said anything about that? I just thought you'd like to join us for some ice cream. Maybe your bug here can join us. We can talk about burying the hatchet. You know what a hatchet is, don't you, bug? Uh, Snack? Sort of, yeah. Yeah, I got one in the car if you'd like to see it. A pass. <laughs> Take a little off the shoulder. <laughs> The elbow, shave a little meat off the old kneecap. Fuck! Torture! <laughs> I like to keep mine razor sharp too. Sharp enough you can shave with them. Why I've been known to circumcise a gnat. <laughs> circumcise? Bug? Gnat? Is there a little similarity there? Is he circumcised? <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? I don't think you do. I'll be right back. He's basically saying he's gonna circumcise you if you don't get the hell out of there. Go, bro! He's gonna get the hatchet! Look, um, I think you'd better split. You know, I don't exactly why I'm going berserk with an axe on me. He's all talk. Here it is! Ah! Come on over! Let me bury the hatchet! <laughs> I'll get him back. That's a pretty stupid thing to do during flu season. I bet she's getting the tongue. You don't need to know, Macy. <laughs> See, look at my. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I got this Black Panther hat on. <laughs> I was ready. Buck in school smoking. He a legend. Yeah, Buck. <laughs> a little late. <laughs> You got a good hat, good aim, Buck. Stand back and let let it fire. Oh my God, the ricochet! It's gonna be ricocheting back. I used the smaller, you know, urinal before, and it was ricocheting all back on my legs and stuff. And if you don't know, now you know. Warning. Nice to mold you. I mean, I mean meet you. <laughs> Shouts out to Austin I'm Powers. I'm Benito Horgarth. Buck melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. Mo. <laughs> I'm I'm the ward. She's my tumor. My uh, growth. Melanoma head's coming. Uh, Maisie Russell's uncle. I'm her uncle. <laughs> I've been an educator for 31.3 years. Point three. I've seen a lot of bad eggs. I see a bad egg when I look at your niece. She is a twiddler, a dreamer, a silly heart. 
I don't think she takes a thing in her life or her career as a student seriously. Okay, Miss Mole, you're not about to be coming at my niece like that. She's only six. That is not a valid excuse. I hear that every day and I dismiss it. I don't think I want to know a six-year-old who isn't a dreamer or a silly heart. Right! I don't have a college degree. I don't even have a job. <laughs> Does anyone have a special story to tell a class about something that happened this week? Oh, crap. Macy? My uncle was microwaving my socks and a dog threw up on the couch for about an hour. Honest? Yes. Why was your uncle microwaving your socks? Can't get the goddamn washing machine to work. Blasphemer! <laughs> what? Because they're all good kids. Until dried out, brain dead skags like you drag them down and convince them they're no good. Yeah, he liking so that. Just scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school, and I hear about it, and I'm coming looking for you. Take this quarter. Go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. <laughs> good day to you, madam. Biatch! He shouldn't have said that. Talk about my niece. What the hell wrong with you? She's six. Next. Next. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Buck. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't got nothing against people with moles, you know, but moly, 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 holy moly. <laughs> She's a mole rat. I think about you all the time and think about those two little dimples on your bunch. <laughs> Dimple. Bug. One, one was on the right was Lyndon and the left was Johnson. Johnson, I think. No, that was your <laughs> boobs we did. Oh, your boobs were Minnie and Mickey. I remember that. <laughs> Felix, Felix is what we call your. <laughs> so the pussy called Felix. Come on, you. I never Get named the, the woman's body part. Buck on to something new. Get in the house where you belong. Come on. Come on. Hey. <laughs> he wrestling with a cat. The cat out. <laughs> Buck missed the cat. He done went outside and grabbed a stray one. You're going to be home soon, Buck. All the cats you want. Open up. Files. Hi. May I please speak to Buck Russell, a friend of his, Shanice Kowalowski? Tia, no. I'm sorry, Shanice. He's not here right now. Well, can you tell me when he's going to be back? He went out with Marcy, the lady who lives across the street. They usually stay out pretty late. Do you want to leave a message? Shanice, it's not true. Shanice about to pull up. Uh-uh, uh-oh. Tia, that wasn't cool. No message. Hot socks and drawers right out the microwave. Come get them. It's a hell of an innovative way to do laundry. I never would have thought about this. Wash them and then throw them in the microwave to dry. It's probably a quick a dry. Is there a sexy guy in here? Please don't let it be true. Hi. Oh my God, what are you doing? The uh, laundry, what's it look like? Washing machine's still broken, so I thought I'd use the uh, microwave. Nuke them up, you know. Heat them up pretty good, too. You're bored out of your mind. You need a little adult supervision. This lady is crazy. She be putting thoughts in people's head. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. You're coming with me. Oh, crap. Shanice. Come on. Come on. Oh, they get snow. This is not good. What the hell is she doing? Oh, what, what is this, the knee slapper? <laughs> what is that, dirty dancing? <laughs> 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 The headbutt. That's a dance move I didn't see before. Oh, man. Hello. My aerobic workout today. I'm beating like a rabbit here. <laughs> oh. oh. Honey. Buck. Buck. Hey, Buck, stop dancing, damn it. You're going to get your ass killed. <laughs> Hi, Shanice. Surprise. This is, um... Marcy. Buck, like, <laughs> she lives across the road. I know. And she came over to, um... Shut up, Buck. That's a good idea. Is this who you were out with last night? This hoe? I'm speaking as my, uh... <laughs> Honest, I'm telling you the truth. You son of a bitch. Don't say that, okay? Shanice, don't walk away like... Shanice! 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 Hey, come here! Honey! Yeah, Shanice! <laughs> that car gonna fire on you, girl. Don't hit that car. You're wrecking the driveway! Shanice drove off in the Bronco looking like OJ. Shanice, Shanice, slow that thing down. Oh, what flew up her nose? Get your ass out of here, lady. You better uh, go home, okay, Marcy? Pick up your records. Party's over, okay? He was nicer than I would have been. I'm gonna say, Marcy, you better go. I gotta fix things with my girl. So, I'll just go home and wait for the Federal Express man. <laughs> Marcy needs somebody in her life. She's pretty lonely to be rich over there in that big house. Marcy, I'll be your friend. 
Uncle Buck? Yeah. Got a minute? I got lots of minutes. Now that everything's OK with my grandfather, I want to go out tomorrow night. You can go crazy after I leave. Until then, I'm not letting you out. You just can't find any way to be cool, can you? You mean easy? No. I mean decent. You mean blind. Who are you trying to score points with? My parents? How many times have they had you here since we moved? Try none until they went up shit creek and got stuck. Get used on your parents' time. Hey, Buck. Yeah. Have a bad day today? Hurts when someone screws with your life, doesn't it? Buck sees young. Just walk away. Buck, keep walking. There you go. <laughs> Last call. Oh, they got Buck drinking and smoking. There ain't no there cigar either this time. Eh? I knew it's in that the cigar wrap this time, Buck. No. Mm -hmm. He done gave the dog some beer. Buck! And a dog like it. <laughs> you got it made, Buck. You got it made. You don't have have a boss to worry about. No responsibility at all, Buck. She not there, Buck. She got in the car with Weasel Dick. Jeez, I be forgetting about that. Blow my ears around. <laughs> you guys seen Tia? She took a breeze, Yubi. And she promised me she was gonna look after you guys this evening? She promised me. So much for promises. Does anyone in this house know how to keep a promise? It may be peanuts to your dad, but it's my living. I have no choice. I don't care what your parents are going to say. I, I, I have to take you with me tonight. Where? To his job. His job is at a racetrack. You bet on horses? Go to a party all weekend. Let her go to a party all weekend. She's old enough to know better. Hell, she doesn't listen to anybody anyway. Damn kids. Look at Buck. Found herself caring about something. Look at him. He can't go to work today, Buck. Go get to you. <laughs> The horses can wait. Save that money. Yeah, Kobolaski tires. Hi, it's me. Buck, can't you ever take a hint? Shanice, it's not about me. I got a problem at the house. Uh, I, I need somebody to watch the kids. No, I'll tell you what you need. Your horse fixer's in town, and you need to get to the track. I ran into Raj. See, he told me all about it. The idiot had the nerve to ask me for a loan. What's the matter? You can't take children with you when you're going to cheat on a horse race? Ah, you got some religion out there in the burbs? Uh, so it's fixed horse racing. That's a good bet. I will help you because there's kids involved in this. But as far as you and I are concerned, it is over. Shanice. However it has to be. I'll be there. Thank you. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. You got a horseshoe on his ring. He that deep in that ho horse betting. Jeez, Buck. He might have lot of, won a lot of bucks off of horse betting. He like, you know what? Let me get a horseshoe ring. And a fixed horse races too? It's a win. Oh, that's on Toto Elaine. And my niece is there. Ugh, our son is there. Yeah, kids. I don't think you ought to go in there with that hat on. They'll kill you. Really? <laughs> it's not in style, Buck. I'm supposed to come over and watch you? Hi. Uh, I'm Shanice Kovalowski. I'm Uncle Buck's friend. May I see your driver's license, ma'am? <laughs> he don't play. <laughs> Let me see the driver's license, social security card, birth certificate, ma'am. Can I please take it out of there? Take it out? We need to make sure before you come up in here. <laughs> I'm home alone. Hurry up, Buck. He in there groping her. Hurry up, please, Buck. That guy is in there trying to buck Tia. Ah! Ah! Let me see That's the wrong hat, Buck. <laughs> you, you, want right here. It. you got it. Hey, nice music. You want it, baby. You got it. Stop it, please. Stop it. She says, stop. Relax. Ain't no relax. I said I don't want to do it. Get up off of me. Excuse my language. Hey, this room's taken. Go. No, you don't. That door opens. I'm going to kick somebody's ass. No, your ass is about to get kicked, pervert. I hope you brought the hatchet, too. Oh. No, he's about to dr drill his asshole. Oh! The buck's going on in here. Well, she still says she didn't want to do it. Get out of here, girl. You're safe now. <laughs> he gonna have nightmares of Uncle Buck. He might not mess with no more women after, <laughs> after Uncle Buck done torturing. <laughs> you are right. Everything you said would happen, happened. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get you home. He had the whole tool kit ready to shove up. <laughs> He is about to go crazy on dude. Is this a trick? A trick? No. You know what happened? Yeah. 
You're going to tell my parents about everything that's been going on? No. Thanks. First cool thing he did, huh? Not rat you out to you? I'm probably the last guy in the world you'd want to help. I really could use your advice vis-a-vis -vis Shanice. <clears throat> I've been uh, stringing her along for about eight years now. Uh, eight years? You know, there's uh, one family charity case that uh, loves you very much. Sorry. Hey, come on. I'm gonna be sorry about it. Just gotta, glad I got a chance to know you again. Uncle Buck's pretty cool after all, Tia. Did you do anything to Bug? Oh my god. He circumcised him? What did you do? Ah! He got him in the... <laughs> you shithead! I can't suffocate in here! Um, do you know what I'd like you to do? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I don't know if I told you this or not, but uh, I'm an amateur dentist. Oh, yes, he is. We'll knock his teeth out! Oh! <laughs> Want a couple fillings? Sorry. Yeah, say it with a little more of your heart. He's half hearted. We'll let him go. Oh, here I'm, we go. I'm really sorry. I'm I sure am. you are. I'm sure you are. I, I am. There you go. There you Whoa. go. Shall we? Yeah. Nobody bucks with Uncle Buck or his nephew, the nieces, man. Come back and I'll kick your ass, man. Chicken shit. You're dead. Here's the scary ass. <laughs> yeah, run. A little five wood. Hey. What? what you Buck, doing, what you about to do with that five wood? Four. Man, you're wasting. I'm gonna give you everything you've got, man. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. That hurt. Hey, 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 I'm not sorry, all right? <laughs> He's still talking. But you know where this one going. <laughs> huh? Holding one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the license figure that one out. Don't answer, don't answer, you don't answer. <laughs> Did he shoot it? <laughs> Did he hit it into his booty hole? <laughs> he really has changed. It's... He's responsible. Yeah. Caring and loving. Are we talk about the same buck here. <laughs> Decent. <laughs> kind. Buck. Humble, honest, and forthright, and he's really got a great sense of humor. Did he, by any chance, put you up to this? No. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No, I've just gathered this from my own observations. No? Well, no, it's just the way he is. Really? Ah, that's the new Buck. <clears throat> <clears throat> Buck, get the Buck out here, man. Really? Oh, yeah. So unlike him. Sydney! <laughs> Damn, how hard she kicked the door. Buck flew. Check this out. Uh -oh. It's a big guy. <sighs> Hi, honey. Is the uh, coffee ready? <laughs> a little thirsty. <laughs> By the way, I have told you I loved you. And it wasn't for tires, sweetheart. It was for shocks, remember? <laughs> Buck ain't nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him like crazy. You're beautiful children. What happened to you? Recessive gene. It skips every nine generations. I got it this time. Mm -hmm. House, the family, the kids. Oh, stay. oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, it's great. This is great. You know, we should have done this a long time ago. Something like this. You know, you and I. <laughs> oh. I don't know, Buck. Is it too late to make a few of them? Can you let off a couple bucks? <laughs> bucks in that up. Yeah, let me shut up. <clears throat> Mom and dad's back. Oh, shoot, Tia look like. Yeah, let's talk. Mom. Mom like, oh, who, who is this? It's my daughter? It's gonna be real different. I promise. I love you. <laughs> Buck, your moles was flawless. Happy. Bye. 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 Buck came in and changed lives. Go on for a coffee. Okay. <laughs> did leave the house oh, a little geez. mess. Did try our best. You know, we're not so good at doing What? We're going home. We're not dying. Okay, I'm saying goodbye. Is that all right? Should it? <laughs> you know, he's getting a new company car on Monday. Uh, hell, I am. Beats is good for another 100,000 miles. Yep. Uh, no, nah, I don't think that thing can go another 100 miles. Without an oil change, at least. <music> Uncle Buck is a life changer. Uncle Buck changed Tia's life. She was a brat. He showed her someone to care for her.
You know, I don't think Tia really had that because her parent, her mom, and dad works a lot. So Uncle Buck came around and showed her love, care, security, uh, all of these things that she's been missing out on, you know? And she didn't even know how to, you know, understand what was happening. Like, what the hell? Why is he doing this? Why is he acting like he care? I'm not used to this. Stop. It worked out in the end. Turned Tia into, he was trying to warn her. Tia, these guys out here, especially if they wear those type of haircuts, don't trust them. If you say no and he keep going, that lets you know everything you need to know right there. He got one motive and it ain't to make you happy. Go. Excuse me. Get out of there. And then in a way, those kids changed Uncle Buck. You know, Uncle Buck was a big kid, but these kids changed him into a man. Responsibility. I think Buck's going to be good from here on out. I wonder if him and Shanice just laid an egg that night, you know? I don't think it's too late, Shanice. Hun, go to the doctor, see how fertile you are. When's the right days? Start bucking. All you guys got to do is start bucking and, you know, it happened. <laughs> Let me get out of here, y'all. And that was a great movie. Until next movie. <laughs>